What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. I talk with my hands a lot, but this camera setup doesn't really let you see my face. So here we go. I wanted to do a quick product overview on this new altimeter. It's something that I've been super, super excited about. You guys know I like to keep disclosures in line. So full disclosure, Adrian from Featherweight did send me this altimeter free of charge to do this video with. This is the new Featherweight Altimeters Blue Jay, and I have saved opening it and looking at it because I wanted my reaction to the size to be genuine. I know they're very tiny, but you know, numbers only mean so much on paper. So seeing it in person is uh, something I haven't experienced yet. I wanted to share it all with you. I wanted to talk about this altimeter and its specs and everything it can do. Uh, because it is a really affordable, awesome alternative to small altimeters on the market that has a lot of powerful punch it is $80 or the plus version is $100. And effectively, the thing you can do with the plus version you can't do with the base one is program the outputs so you can use it for staging and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack her open and take a look here. Oh man. Oh, the magnet stuck to the terminal block. That is so, so tiny. So the dimensions are 1.45 by 0 0.65 inches. This will fit in an 18 millimeter SS tube. BT20 for those flying SS stuff. Um, I believe actually this has a plus on the serial number. So I think this is the plus model. So thank you, Adrian, for that upgrade. If that's the case, I'll have to wait till I get it turned on to check it out. But yeah, there you go. That is the Featherweight Blue Jay. And man, it's so, so tiny. But what makes me most excited about this thing is that it has similar Bluetooth connectivity that the Blue Raven has. So you can connect to it with the Featherweight UI app on either Apple products or Android products. And it provides all sorts of crazy data. So let me just throw some little details at you. It only weighs 4.7 grams. It has two outputs for standard dual deploy setup, or like I said, with the plus one, you can program it for uh, staging and stuff like that. It has a three axis accelerometer on this tiny little altimeter. You have accelerometer data up to 32 G's of acceleration, which I know some people have talked about being a little bit underwhelming, but 32 G's is pretty well within spec of what most people are flying in rocketry. If you're flying higher than that, uh, I guess get the Blue Raven uh, because that does have a lot more accelerometer capacity, but it also has a three axis gyro. My favorite feature is that it has an integrated mag switch. So it's as simple as attaching a battery to this thing and finding a spot to put it in a rocket. The switch is taken care of. You program it with your phone. I am so, so excited to fly this. A lot of people who watch my channel are probably familiar with the fact that I don't really like doing small electronics bays like 54 millimeter minimum diameters, but this is certainly a game changer because it just makes the whole process so nice and simple. It can use batteries up to 12 volts. It is, however, optimized to run on a 1S LiPo, and that's great because that is the same spec as the LiPo as the Blue Raven. So this little tiny guy is all you need for a battery. And you could even go smaller if you've got your pad timing optimized pretty well. But I love these batteries and uh, Adrian sent me a charger as well, which I really appreciate. And this is really cool. There is pigtails, both male and female. So you can put one on the battery or you could really just put the female one on the altimeter directly, plug the battery in directly as well if you don't wanna have all this wiring. You can make it as simple or as complex as you want, but it is super, super nice that it uses the same thing. And like I said, look at how small this space is. Another great thing is that you can put the altimeter on the sled in any orientation. So it can be upside down uh, perspective wise, I suppose. There's not really a, a definitive answer. I guess the text on the board will tell you what's technically upside down or right side up. You can put it at 45 degrees, you can put it at 90, you can do whatever you want, it's going to be okay. Any orientation, which is great if you're working with a really small area and you're trying to cram the battery and the altimeter and everything in there, there is unlimited possibilities for making that work. Of course, the biggest benefit to having that gyro and that accelerometer on there is all the data that you're going to have access to. Not only are you going to have access to 
altitude readouts like you would expect from a dual deploy logging altimeter, but you're also going to have acceleration data, which means you're also going to have pretty dang accurate speed data. The gyro will also show you how many revolutions the rocket was doing under boost and a bunch of other cool stuff. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is hook the battery up to it and then I'm gonna to switch to a screen recording of my phone so we can uh, take a look together at everything this little guy can do. Now, if this is the plus model, which I do believe is what that plus indicates on the serial there, we will have more options available like staging and everything like that. So all we can do is fire it up and take a look. So I'm gonna cut you guys to my phone screen now. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to put the female plug in the power terminal. Make sure we know which way this is going on the battery. Excellent. We don't want to reverse the polarity. Um, so let me grab a screwdriver and we'll do that real quick. Now my beloved iFixit kit screwdriver with the tiny little flathead attachment so we can loosen these terminal blocks up. Man, it's so light. I feel like half the weight was that plastic bag. Okay, so we've got battery on the far right here, or I guess your far left. The furthest one being positive and the inner one being negative. So we're going to get this hooked up as such. And I'm going to take it off the camera just so it's a little bit easier. Sorry, everybody. All right, there you go. It's simple as that. And now we have the capability to turn this guy on. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to read that, but you can see right up there where my pointer finger is, it says magnet with an arrow showing you what direction to swipe it on the board. So let's get this battery. We'll set this guy up here. And if it's like the Blue Raven, just the fact that it's getting power, it will turn on. Let's see. But I don't really know what indicator it has that it has turned on. So let's see. I'll turn it so we can keep the camera rolling. There you go. Okay, we have power. Now let's transition to the phone. Okay, we are in the Featherweight UI app. And just like with every other Featherweight product, just instantly it's already recognize that there's a new featherweight device nearby we're going to click connect there you go blue j plus 147 yes sir it is a plus model let's connect to that and boom just like that we're in and the channel programming but like i said this is the plus model so you can use it for other functions other than just main and apogee deployment and here is a menu of what you can do and you can use one channel for stage separation for separation charge and the second channel for air starts. If you just really want a small computer controlling your two stage setup, which I actually am really considering using this for because I have a two inch diameter sustainer on top of a four inch two stage booster. And that would be just really great to have this small of a device controlling the staging. If we go into the air start, you can see how much stuff you can do. Because it has that gyro and that accelerometer, you can set parameters like the maximum off axis and the max minimum velocity and minimum altitude. So, so here you go. There is that setting right here down towards the center of the phone screen. Do not ignite if tilt angle exceeded this threshold at any time during the flight. So regardless of what it's at, at the time that it's ready to stage if it has exceeded for in this case 60 degrees at any point throughout the flight it will not light the motor and you can change all of these parameters to be whatever you want we can say we need at least 500 feet per second of velocity and we don't want to stage until we're 5,000 feet up if you're doing something crazy like that you can also change it to angle driven exclusively so you can set all these parameters for the current angle versus a oh, predicted future angle? Is that what that is? Hmm, that's a pretty cool feature. I didn't even know about all that. And uh, of course, if you want to do set it up for Apogee backup, you can run this as a second altimeter and change whatever you want for the delay on your backup charges. You one and a half second, one second, as much as you want. And the main channel looks to be, yes, it's fully configurable with all the same specs. So both of those outputs are fully programmable and can be anything that you want. There's also a really cool ground test feature in this app, which is also on the Blue Raven, but if you've never seen it, it's really cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the camera for the start countdown. I believe it records a slow motion video. It shows you, as you can see, we've got zero volts showing right there, but it will show you the continuity of your e-match or igniter or whatever you're using in there. 
and then you can select which channels you want to arm and start the ground test within the app. You can also run flight simulations so that you can test your outputs and make sure your settings are the way you want them to be. So if you, you know, are setting up a complex two stage situation, you can run a simulation and make sure that you are going to have your charges and ignition sequence and everything happening at the time frame that you want it to happen. But yeah, this is a very, very cool, super powerful and super affordable little altimeter. Now I could spend a ton of time going over this awesome little altimeter. Go to featherweightaltimeters.com, check out the user manual and all the specs and info on both the Blue Jay and the Blue Jay Plus. All right, that is it. Thank you so much to Adrian once again for sending me this awesome little altimeter. I've been so, so excited about this thing since it got announced. It's so tiny and I'm super, super excited to fly it in a rocket. And now Shane, I think I'm gonna use this for staging on my Nike Tomahawk. It's so tiny, it'd be so, so nice. I know I told you guys that this was free for me and I know this is gonna sound really like a commercial at this point, but uh, this is just something I've been super excited about. I've been talking about it on the podcast for a little bit and everything for a while. So yeah, highly recommend featherweightaltimeters.com. Go check out the Blue Jay. This thing is awesome. I should disclaim that the battery and the wiring and the charger are not included. You have to pay extra for that. I believe the whole starter set with those three things is like 29 or 30 extra dollars but uh, well worth it. Awesome competitor to things like the uh, Easy Mini and the gone but not forgotten for the most part Stratologger, but in my opinion, just a game changer to have the integrated mag switch and have actual accelerometer data and everything on something that is this small and this affordable. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. I hope you guys are as excited about the Blue Jay and the Blue Jay Plus as I am. Uh, if you have one, let me know if you've flown it yet, if you have any experiences, and uh, let me know if you're gonna order one in the comments. If you wanna see behind the scenes videos and pictures, you can check me out at rock, nope, patreon.com slash rocket vlogs. Follow me on Instagram at bigb1011. But for now, my name is Braden Carlson. You just watched a Rocket Vlogs video about the featherweight Blue Jay and I will see you guys next time.